It is one of the highlights of Alaska's Inside Passage. It covers over 13,000 square kilometers of rugged, snow-capped mountains, glaciers, freshwater lakes, and deep fjords. This week we take a closer look at part of the Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve, along the coast of Southeast Alaska. Welcome to Earth from Space. The Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve, featured in this image captured by Copernicus Sentinel-2, contains some of the world's most impressive glaciers that descend from the ice-covered St. Elias Range in the east and the Fairweather Range in the west, with a few notable tidewater glaciers extending all the way to the sea. John Hopkins Glacier is the largest tidewater glacier in the region. Muir Glacier once rose around 80 meters above water and was nearly 3 kilometers wide, but has now shrunk and receded and no longer reaches the sea. Glacier Bay is just one of the many areas suffering from the effects of global warming. The bay is expected to become warmer and drier over the next century, with widespread effects, including the further shrinking glaciers, reduced sea ice and shoreline erosion. Monitoring glaciers is often a challenge, considering their sheer size, remoteness and rugged terrain they occupy. Satellites including ESA's Cryosat mission, with its elite spaceborne sensor, the radar altimeter, allows for the mapping of glaciers in fine detail. In a study published last year in the cryosphere, scientists utilized data from the Cryosat mission to show how much ice had been lost from mountain glaciers in the Gulf of Alaska. An exhibition opening today in Aosta Valley, Italy, offers its visitors the opportunity to witness the effects of global warming through the power of both photography and ESA satellite imagery. The exhibition focuses on the world's largest mountain glaciers with 90 photographic comparisons displayed alongside scientific data and includes images such as the one featured in this week's edition. <laughs> 